T minus four minutes. Yellow says go for approach sequence four. Preparing now to gimbal the main engines of the orbiter and the flight controls. We see now the orbiter's elevon being moved. Main engine gimbal coming up here in about five seconds. Engines now being steered through their flight profile. Standing by to pressurize the liquid oxygen tank in about five seconds. CLS is go for ET, LO2, pressurization. Standing by to retract the Cox Vent arm, the Cox Beanie Cap. TLT OTC, clear caution and warning memory and verify no unexpected errors. TLT, that's in work and no unexpected errors. OTC copy. Cassidy is oxygen vent hood now being moved off the top of the tank and retracted to the launch position. Liquid oxygen tank now at flight pressure. Discovery crew, OTC, close and lock your visors. Initiate O2 flow. Have a good flight. That's been working. Thanks a lot. CLS is go for ET, LH2, pressurization. Terminating the liquid hydrogen flow to the tank now. Pressurizing that tank. One minute, 30 seconds. Air is confirmed flowing into the astronauts' helmets. Standing by to turn off the heaters on the solid rocket booster joints. And then we'll have a final check of the Booster One commands. T minus forty five seconds. External tank strut heaters are off. Standing by to hand off now to the onboard flight computers. We have a handoff. Discovery's computer is now controlling. Five. Solid rocket booster nozzles being gimbled. T minus 18 seconds. Solid rocket boosters armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10 seconds. Go for main engine start. Main engines now started. Main engines up and running. Three, two, one and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery on a mission to prepare for the next era of world cooperation in space. Roll program, Houston. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston is now controlling Discovery on its 20th trip to space. Discovery rolling on course for an orbit with the Mir space station. Mir currently half a world away above the Indian Ocean.
Discovery, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. Three engines on Discovery are now back at full throttle. Discovery speed is 1,100 miles per hour, eight nautical miles above the launch pad, six nautical miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. One and a half minutes since launch, Discovery's already burned more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Discovery's altitude now 17 nautical miles, 15 nautical miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery traveling 2,800 miles per hour. Flight controllers standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Booster officer confirms a good separation and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Discovery now in its second stage, three main engines. Discovery, two engine tau. Two engine tau. That call indicating that Discovery can now perform a transatlantic landing at sites in Spain and Morocco if required. However, all three engines operating well, all systems go. Discovery, performance nominal. 